goodness, look at that. It's Super Bowl planning. That is the coolest thing I've ever no. seen. I'm Nicole. I'm a culinary producer and recipe developer. That means I take creative and sometimes challenging food concepts and turn them into real recipes that are approachable and impressive. So follow along as we give you a behind the scenes look at the whole process from start to finish. So I just got out of our brainstorm meeting and the topic of the recipe we need for the next video is Super Bowl. So I wanna make like a giant pizza roll because like we all love like Totino's pizza rolls. So kind of something like that, but in a more giant form that will feed a crowd. I need like a wow factor in here. It can't just be pizza toppings. I mean, obviously pepperoni sausage, right? I've got all the usual suspects and I picked up. Something's making me want to incorporate these somehow into this pizza roll. Also just thought about how I could shape this maybe like a football. I think if I take the pizza dough, maybe divide it into two long portions, fill it, roll it, and then I maybe can shape it like a football. Put some chips and dip in the middle. How do you like that? I'm gonna make the filling, and I'm gonna go ahead and put all the stuff in it, because the key word you hear at Super Bowl is like loaded. Like loaded nachos, loaded potato skins. You can consult your fellow testers, because they're all in the same kitchen with you. I just came in here with a massive problem and Nicole helped me fix it, sort of. We're all in this together. I'm developing a Super Bowl, you know, impressive appetizer. So yeah. I'm thinking like the ultimate pizza roll. Huh? One pizza roll divided into two long pizza rolls. Okay. Rolled up with the fillings. And then I'm gonna like shape it like a football. Can you do multiple fillings? So yeah, like the ultimate Super Bowl experience. It's like, like nachos, uh, a buffalo oh, chicken, and a pizza. I just don't know how to do three if I want to do like, um, I mean two. Or you could do two. Because I was going to maybe put like a ranch kind of dip in the middle. So maybe the buffalo chicken on one half. And the pizza. And the pizza on one half. Well, I'm just going to do this all pizza because that's the ingredients I bought. It turns out well. And maybe I'll just sub out the second half for buffalo chicken filling. All right, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. So I'm gonna brown my sausage, then saute all my veggies in there. So, you know, keeping it simple, keeping it as minimal pans as possible. So I was trying to see if one pizza dough could go two ways. Now I'm thinking I should use two complete balls of pizza dough from your bakery to really make this impressive to feed a large enough crowd. Super Bowl's about going big. What was I thinking? This is like a good size, I think, because I'm gonna fill it and then wrap it around. I wanna get this one as long as this and as skinny as this one. Sometimes shooting the video is kind of the second test of a recipe I develop, but I don't wanna start a video with something I'm not positive is going to work. So I might give this one another try in the morning before we shoot the video. So I'm going to measure it. 18 plus, so like two and a half feet. Yeah, so I will say, you know, form your dough into 30 inch long pieces. All right, I've got my pepperoni. I'm gonna add some olives. All right, so I'm thinking I'm going to just put the sauce in here versus laying it. Tastes like a pizza. So I think I'm gonna start with the cheese, which will also keep my crust from getting too soggy. And I guess I'm going to fill. Will it roll? Starting to think that I made this a little bit too long because I kind of want more filling in it. So tomorrow this will be buffalo chicken on this side. Just enough filling. Oh crap, I forgot to put the cheese still. <laughs> Here I am tooting my own horn, screwing things up. This crust is gonna get soggy. <sighs> All right, rolled and ready. All right, I want it to fill up this size sheet tray because this is what most people would have in their house. I'm gonna go to 24 inches. Might have to go shorter. Well, this is good news. Then you don't have to roll your dough out so far. Man, I hope this works. So this is 22 inch. Josh, does this look like a football? Uh, it looks like the tube to a bicycle tire. That's busted. 
<sighs> I also thinking about brushing this with a little like garlic oil. All right, I'm gonna move this to a baking sheet. It gives us a little more room. Now, am I supposed to put coals in this? Let some steam out? I guess so. Here goes nothing. Ooh, look at that. It's looking pretty good. Crispy on the outside. I hope it's cooked on the inside. This concept is gonna work. I will do the two fillings. I like making it a little wider so that it really resembles more of a football. Little ranch dip in the middle. Doritos to fill the center. Now that is like game day. I mean, it looks good. I'm probably gonna up the cheese a little bit because I didn't get that good cheese pull that we will want for the video. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll go down to 400 and do it for 20 to 25 minutes so that it gets really cooked through the dough in the middle. Overall, I'm happy. I'm gonna make a new grocery list um, for me to take a second go at this tomorrow. Nicole, how's it going? Good. Um, we've got round two of recipe development. So, got my supreme pizza going. So the other half of this now is going to be buffalo chicken, which they were out of rotisserie chickens. So I had to cook my own chicken this morning. I put my first draft out on the counter for the masses and it was devoured in less than 10 minutes. So don't think that, you know, food goes to waste around here. I'm gonna have cream cheese, hot sauce, and cheddar cheese in this mixture. I think I settled on 22 inches yesterday. Yeah, that's about 22. As far as changes go for the pizza part, I left everything the same, just sort of cut it in half. Uh, and I, my dough is a little, like it's a little bit wider than it was yesterday. First, we will work the dough over the filling and then we'll go back around to seal it up. So in my buffalo chicken dip, I put cheddar cheese, but I saved a little bit in the package. Put down on the bottom. I'm hoping that it might give me a little bit of cheese pull in the video. All right, I go buffalo on the bottom, pizza on the top, and brush it with oil. A little air pocket. All right. Hope for the best. Cause I don't want to do this, but one more time. Got that good sound again. I had done these little slits in it cause I did that yesterday. Um, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna not really do the slits cause I don't really like the way that's making it look. I think I'm gonna put a little bowl of ranch. I might try to find something that's also oval shaped. And then I'm thinking, you know, I want to do those laces in the football. Maybe I'll put some chives in there or something. And I'm still gonna fill the center with Doritos because I just think you have to. Rashawn, I need your help. What do we got going on today? Oh my goodness, look at that. It's Super Bowl planning. That is the coolest thing I've ever now, seen. Well, it I'm, looks like a football. Hey. I'm gonna not cut the slits in here, or at least not so many. I'm not offended just... by the slits. I think that seeing that crusty cheese is like... Looks good. Oh man, you, it makes you want to eat it. All right, slits are staying. I would say, you know, you can add a little spray to the outside of your, or a little brush of yeah. something so to make I it... So I brushed it with some olive oil before I put before it in. Before you put it in there. Do I need just more olive oil or do it again I would do it, it after, out? yeah, when it comes out. Okay. You definitely could like sort through your chips and like save the broken ones. You can make you a little Dorito angel dust powder for later. Oh, yeah. I know, right? Ooh. I'm telling you. Okay, so half of this is buffalo chicken Ooh. stuffed and half of this is pizza stuffed. Oh my word. Is this, you know, they both go with ranch. It just makes me so excited. I, I thought, you know, that this could like mimic a little grass. Yes, I agree. I think you just put it around the outside. Okay. You want to dig in? Oh, hell yeah. There you go. Cheers. Oh, cheers. We cheers a lot, don't we? That's a supreme pizza. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so yummy. It's a winner. It's a winner it's for a sure. Touchdown. touchdown. Woo. Let's go make the video now. All right, here goes. Just mix that. A little spillage. Gotta clean that up. Can't have nice things. Can't have nice things. 
This process right here takes close to 10 minutes, but it'll be about 10 seconds of the video. Check to make sure the white stuff doesn't get too blown out. See, I've got my extra ingredients already prepped off onto the side, so it makes it easy for me to just grab and dump. This is our favorite part, the rolling of the dough. Just kind of throw the dough on. Maybe it'll do that like psh, splash thing. <laughs> Not really. This is where movie magic really comes in handy. An hour in to a one minute video. I bet more cheese is sold during Super Bowl than any other time of year though. All right, and we roll. Right out. Rashawn liked the ooey gooey cheese. I thought it might have messed up the perfection. So I'm just gonna minimize the slits in the top. Time for the oven. It's the moment of truth. Bada boom. You gotta admit it. You would be excited to go to a Super Bowl party that had this. So I'm gonna try to do one pull out shot with a cheese pull. Should I, off the record, sneak a little cheese in here just so we can get on the first try. Ready when you are. Money shot, you got one chance. I got you. All right, ready? Yep. Got it. That's a wrap, folks. Two full days to develop and cross test and shoot the recipe. I think by the evidence left, which is not much, that it was a touchdown. Now the fun part comes. I've got all my notes. It's time to go sit at the computer and write the recipe for the website. So hope you enjoyed this video and that you will try to make this recipe at home this year for the Super Bowl. If you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell so you never miss a video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I've got some fun things coming up. See you next time. Can I dip? Yep, Give me one. Dip. Great. That was a well. Touchdown! <laughs>